How are you? So in this very quick tutorial, I'm going to replicate the typical copy to point setup using a piece attribute, but using the instancer in Solaris. I'm Kev Ryan, and here we go. So this is just your typical setup wherein we have regular pop sim, just normal debris sim, and then we're creating a bunch of attributes on here. I'm doing the spin after the fact with all of this. And then I'm creating an index attribute uh, or a variant attribute or whatever you want to call it. And then that's going into a copy to points, the piece attribute set to index. And then I'm also creating my debris here using a box, an RBD material fracture. Then when we go to exploded view, you can see that. Then it's being assembled like so. And then all the pieces are going to the center. And then when you do copy to points, it looks like that. So how do we recreate this in Solaris? Well, first of all, we need to head over to the stage context. First thing we create is an instancer. And then inside the instancer, let's just go and create an object merge. And let's bring in our points from our sim. And there they are. Next, all we need to do is do a sub create. We can go in here. Throw down another object merge and then bring in our debris. And there it is. So as you can see here now, it is adding all of the debris to every point, but it's not choosing different pieces of debris per point. So what we have to do is we have to open up a geometry spreadsheet or a scene graph tree. And we see here that this is called a SOP create. And so is this. And that's because this is the path prefix that we've given this object. And as you can see here, it's set to $OS, which refers to the name we give it here. So if we call this debris, you see here it becomes debris. And because we had an assemble SOP, it's been given a piece attribute or a name attribute here. And we can see each of our individual pieces, which is great. I tend to like to also just write it here just to be safe. And now all we need to do is put down a collection, give our collection a name, and then from here, just delete this, drag over our debris from the spreadsheet, another forward slash, and the asterisk. And that is telling the instancer that this is a collection that's called debris pieces, and the primitives inside it are everything in this drop down here. So on the instancer, what we need to do is set the prototypes here to be percentage sign and just copy and paste our debris instances. So we still don't see anything just yet, but if we go down to options here, we can untick only copy specified prototype primitives. And here we go. It's working perfectly and it's all completely random. And that is because we're using this prototype index here, which is set to random. But we could also use an index attribute we should pick just one piece, or we can even create our own index attribute, which we already have done. Because if you remember, back here in our instancer and back to our out points, we have our index being created here. Now, what I really like about this setup is that we can do all the work we want here in the SOP context, but because both the instancer and the SOP create are also their own smaller SOP context, we can take all of this, control X, and just leave out points there as is. Go back to the instancer, and then we can paste everything here. And then just give it an output. And the same setup works again. And then we can also do the very same with our out debris. Go in here, grab all of this stuff, control X, and we can delete all this. Back to our stage, sub create, and then control V, and then another output here, and it works again. So this way, we never have to return back to our sub context or a geo level. We can continue to do everything here at the Solaris level. And that's how you do instances with Karma. And of course, with the same sim, you can always swap out and do different instances and set up as many different instance objects as you like. So thanks for watching, I'll talk to you later. Bye!